Welcome to the Kitsap Publishing Deep Dive Podcast with myself, Jack Bennett, and Emily Waters. Join us as we explore books, current events, history, politics, health, and more. Let's dive in. All right, so you know how we've been talking about making your house a forever home? Well, get ready to dive deep because we're tackling aging in place, like really deep. The why, the how, the stuff you never even considered. It's something that affects everyone, really. And the more we learn, the more we can make our homes work for us, you know, for our whole lives. You know, I was going through this book, the one you mentioned, and it was like, bam, a punch to the gut. It said 10,000 people turn 65 every day in America, yep. like every single day. It's a huge shift. The book calls it a silver tsunami, this like demographic wave. And get this, 700 million Americans, according to this book, want to stay in their homes as they get older. 700 million, wow. Not retirement homes. Nope, they want to stay put yeah. in their own mm. places. I get that, I feel the same way. Mm. There's something about being home, you know? But is that even possible for most people? That's the big question, right. And this book really digs into it. Most homes, even new ones, they aren't made to change with us. The author, he's an architect, and he had this realization. Really? Why not? He realized most homes are built for what he calls the default person, you know, mm -hmm. able-bodied, right-handed, average height and weight. The things we just kind of assume will always be the case. Until they aren't, right? Exactly. Yeah. Life happens, needs change. Tell me about it. When I sprained my ankle a while back, my apartment was like an obstacle course, and that was temporary. Exactly. Even small things make a huge difference. And it's not always about needing a wheelchair, it's everything. The, the book tells the story about this woman, Clara. She loved to bike, and then she had a stroke. It was rough, but she also loved to cook, right? But after the stroke, her kitchen, it was impossible. Until, that is, she got a CPS designer. CPS designer. Yeah, certified aging in place specialist. They look beyond how things look. They think about how you move through the space, how your needs might change. They make it adaptable. So cool. So it's like making our homes work for us, whatever life throws our way. But where do we even start? Well, the book really stresses talking to family, you know? Yeah. About the future and making homes work as we age. It can be, well, Awkward. Totally. Not the easiest talk, for sure. But the book has some really good advice on having these conversations with understanding, you know. It talks about this three levels deep thing. The three levels deep. Now you've got me curious. What does that even mean? Okay, imagine talking to your parents and they say, we want to stay in our home, the level one, the surface. But to figure out what they need, we got to dig deeper. Digging deeper. Okay, so what's the next level down? So level two is like what's behind the words, the emotions. Maybe they're scared of being a burden or losing their independence, you know? Right, right. And level three, that's where you find the stuff they don't even say, needs and fears they might not realize themselves. That's deep. It reminds me, my mom was redoing her bathroom, right? And she was dead set on keeping the tub, love my baths, mm. she'd say. Mm -hmm. But talking to her, I realized she hadn't actually used it in years. It was more like the idea of it luxury, you know. Exactly. And as CKPS designer, they're trained to ask those questions, to get the why. It's not just accessible, it's adaptable. But in a way that fits what someone really wants. We don't think about good design enough, especially as we age. 100%. That's where the right team comes in. This book, it hammered that home. Not just any handyman, you need people who get it. Architects, designers, the whole shebang. Ideally, certified in aging in place stuff. Those CFPS designers. Yep. They see the stuff most people miss. Door widths, how much space is in the hallways, levers instead of knobs. Oh, game changer. Especially with arthritis or if you've hurt your hand. Right. It's all about planning ahead, making it stylish and functional. The book mentioned five questions to ask contractors about this stuff. Like a test, right? Mm -hmm. Did those stand out to you? Big time. It's how you know if they're thinking long term. Because those little details, they're everything. Ever notice how some bathroom drawers, they hit the door, you can't even open them all the way? The worst. I thought it was just a bad contractor. Nope. A good aging in place person. They're thinking about that. How you move, door swinging, if you need to use the space differently later. Peace of mind right there in the design. Exactly. Comfort support now and later. And, you know, speaking of support, I loved how the book talked about it beyond just our own four walls. The community matters, too. You're right. We've been so focused on the house itself. But there's a bigger picture. What did it say? Some towns are getting really creative with senior living. 
You know those huge empty stores like the old Kmart's, Toys R's, all those. I mean, they're turning them into like retirement homes. Well, senior housing, yeah. But they're putting stores and stuff right downstairs so people have what they need close by. No, that's thinking outside the box. Turning those old places into like community centers makes you wonder what else is out there. You know? Totally. And it brings us back to something you mentioned earlier you're interested in. Mention listener-specific community type, if known. What do you see happening there in terms of aging in place, challenges, opportunities, all that? Honestly, I think about mention specific challenge or opportunity related to a listener's community type, if known, a lot. It's a big deal for people around here. It's a conversation everyone needs to have. And one thing that really stuck with me from this book is how much even small changes can do. Right. It made me think about that part where they were talking about switching out a doorknob for a lever. Seems minor, but it's huge if you have arthritis. It makes me think, what could I change in my place right now that would make things easier down the road? That's what I'm talking about. Aging in place, it's not just about the future. It's about the choices we make now to have a home we can enjoy no matter what. I love that. So for everyone listening, if you take one thing away from all this, let it be this. What's one little thing you could change in your home this week that you'd benefit from now, but would also be helpful as you get older? Maybe it's some extra lights or finally cleaning that junk drawer. Whatever it is, that one small step makes a difference. Couldn't agree more. A forever home, it's not about knowing the future. It's about making smart choices today. You got it. Thanks for geeking out with me on this deep dive. Until next time, everyone, keep adapting. Thank you for listening to the Kitsap Publishing Deep Dive Podcast. Emily Waters and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.